everybody, it's Mary from the Children's Room at the Hedberg Library. This is the final video in our Learning Through Play series. I hope you have enjoyed some of the fun activities we've provided and you had some fun learning new ways to learn through play. This week there's no kit that goes along with the video and all you need are some, old, um, some cardboard boxes you might have laying around your house. They can be boxes of any size, any shape, from Kleenex, from cereal, from shoes, from packages, whatever you have laying around will work. When we plan this Learning Through Play program, we try to focus on the five practices of early literacy, which are read, write, sing, talk, and play. And in some of our other Learning Through Play videos, we focused on quite a few of those practices. Well, this video is going to focus on reading, and I'm going to share a story with you today. This is Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. Not a box. To children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. Why are you sitting in that box? It's not a box. It's a race car. A race car. What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Whoa, it's a volcano. It's a volcano. Why are you squirting a box? I said it's not a box. Now you're wearing a box. Wait, I'll give you a wearing box. This is not a box. Robot! Whoa! Are you still standing around in that box? It is not, 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 not a box. Look at all those things. An elephant. An elephant and a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon and a pirate ship. And a boat. A boat. I thought there was a choo choo train. I think it's a boat. Well, what is it then? Hmm. <laughs> it's my not a box. What? It's my not a box. I hope you liked that story as much as I do. It's such a great imagination builder. So now I'm going to challenge you to get out your cardboard boxes, your scissors, your tape, your glue, your markers, your paint, whatever you have at home, and create your own not a box. Your not a box? Can be anything you want it to be. When you're done, you can share it on social media with the hashtag HPL Not a Box. I'm going to show you a little slideshow of some things my kids made and some ideas to maybe give you some inspiration.
Did you get some ideas from my slideshow? I hope so. And I know you have your own ideas right up there. Reading is a great way to introduce a new concept and to introduce new words. Children hear new words in stories because the words are used in different ways than we use them in everyday conversation. They even use words that we don't use very frequently in books, so children learn new words and build new vocabulary. Reading exposes your child to new worlds and new experiences and the experiences of other people, and that helps them develop empathy. Another benefit of reading is reading helps your child get familiar with how written language works. If they have a lot of exposure to books, eventually they learn that reading happens from the front to the back, from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right. They learn how to turn the pages and just how the book works. When they see the pictures on the page and hear the words be read out loud, they begin to connect that the words are actually telling the story, which are all really great early literacy skills for children to have. And finally, Another benefit of reading, there are millions of benefits of reading. These are just my favorites. Finally, reading together strengthens your relationship. Snuggling up to read a book is a great way to be physically close with your child and develop that warm, fuzzy feeling you get when you cuddle and read. That also helps your child view sharing books as a fun and happy experience. And it helps you, the caregiver, feel closer to your child. So let's read together and please share your creations, your not a box creations with hashtag not a box. Thanks. Bye.